What's up, Pisces? What's popping? It was snowing, raining, and everything. I had a crazy, crazy day yesterday. But at the same time, a blessing day. What's up, Pisces? What's up, Pisces in the house? That's right. Don't forget to wash your hands. Make sure you wear that mask and wear everything they're giving you in the store. When you open, when you're walking in the store, you know, going through the doors, they got all that stuff you got to use. It's there for a reason. Come on now. I keep hearing y'all say somebody's in the hospital, my family, somebody's this, somebody's that. It ain't a joke out here. It's not a joke. I said you're going to go through this critical period. Come on now. Not only are you saving people you love life, but other people too. You know, it's, it's going to get better. Best to believe that. But right now, we're not listening. All right? We're not listening. Stop playing. This is serious. All right? I know you love your kids. I know you love your mothers and fathers. Y'all lucky y'all have them. I don't have my mother and father. All right? Your family. People that's going in your house that live in your house. It's serious. All right? And I don't want to wish that on nobody. Not even my damn self. Listen now, Pisces, for all those who are loyal to me. The word is loyal. Loyal. All right? Loyal to me and follow me and love me. Okay? Give me thumbs up. Share my videos. Watch one of my ads. You're donating. All right? If you don't do nothing else for me, you can watch a video. You can give me thumbs up. You can share my videos. All right? You can subscribe to my video. If you don't do nothing but watch, because I know you're getting a lot from me, and I know that for sure. You ain't get from me. Would you trust me? What you get from me, you ain't going to get from nobody else. And I know that for a fact. Okay? So be kind. All right? Just like you see him watch my video, just like you can take the time to like, share, and subscribe and watch a video. If you don't do nothing else, thank you very much. Okay? Thank you for all those who get private readings from me. Know that they go beyond private readings. They are also spiritual readings. All right? And I am the cheapest. But you can go to whoever you want. And that's a sure enough thing. Because I don't hold nobody. And you know that. You know how I get down. I'm raw as fucking hell. I'm raw. I don't sugarcoat shit. Because I don't have to. All right? Always got a choice to do what you want to do. For all those who've been with me since day one, thank you. And for all those who are just starting to come into my YouTube, best to believe you're going to get out of the shit you in. Because my video is about growth. And like I say, I say it like it is. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to let you see where you are at and that you are better than where you see yourself. Okay? It's important that you know that. No one is going to see you how you see yourself. No one is going to love you how you love you. No one. Alright? Thank you for all those who go into my web. You better know you need to check out your chakras. You need chakras. You are a Pisces. You collect a lot of people's energy. You need to wear these. You need to wear whatever you want. Wear. Because you need to wear chakras on you. Right? I got plenty for you on my web. These are my sage. And I said I'm going to make some as soon as I get everything to come in. My sage candles. All right? I don't mean just throwing herbs in a candle. I mean a sage candle. 
all right, or a sage candle. I don't decorate my candle with sage. I said I will make one and it will be what I said I would do. All right? Yeah, that's how I get down. And I put shit, I want to put it together right. All right? You get your money's worth. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right? I don't take shortcuts. I'm here for the long term. I'm not here to be short with you. I'm here to be in your journey. You got that? And what, what, what better more? You get a reading and you get a spiritual healing at the same time? You get gone out of here and go somewhere and see how much it's going to cost you. Cost you for what I do. For what I do. I'm not the average reader. Did you hear what I said? I claim my title. I claim it. I'm that I'm her. Pisces Studio. I claim my title. I don't sit here and rap, 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 rap. No, I don't do that. I'm going to take you somewhere. All right? That's what I do. Check this shit out. Thank you for whoever got in touch for me with Lani. Thank you a million. All right? Check this out, Lani. You watching me? If you watching me, Lani, I want you to know you are very special to me. As a YouTube reader, you are so special to me. I'm proud of you. You remind me of me. So much in many ways. And I want you to know, I just signed a contract with Black Ink. If you live in New York and you from the East Coast or nationwide because it was on TV and still now filming from L.A., uh, excuse me, from Atlanta, okay? And I'm going there in January to do my studio live. And I will give you dates so that you can go there and come into my show. Because this is the first time I'm opening my show live. And everyone that watches Black Ink, just his followers, all right, to watch his show on live TV, I'm going right after his show, just with his follower alone. For the first time in history, I will bring you to, and I thank you, you too. I thank you, Google, for giving me this platform to be my own boss. For me taking you, you too, with me. Okay? On a live cast. Live. On a live platform where the world will see you. Do you understand? Lonnie, girl, I want you to be right next to me because we all gonna eat. We all will eat. You may all come to my studio, whether you are artists, whatever you are, you can come on my studio. And do what you want to do. I will be interviewing you. You may do your tarot cards. You can call in and ask me questions. We're going to be live. A live broadcast. Yes. Whoever the artist that will be there that day. Doing their own film. For Black Ink. Trust me, they're going to love me. They're going to 
God love me. They're going to want to forever keep me. I got a huge journey to do. That's just not it for me. I said I will move from Jersey. And I'm going to do that. Yes. I got to go. Got to go. You understand? You cannot miss on opportunities. Don't get yourself thinking. I got to stay here for all the reasons. You ain't got to stay nowhere. Got to go. Because when you make moves, you meet people. You don't let people to hold you back. It's been there holding you back for a long time. Like I said. If y'all don't think. Honey, I'm going to tell you something right now. Like I said, I got loyalty and I got people that watch me just because they hate me and they want to keep up with me. I'm going to let you know something. For all those who sitting back watching me feeling salty as hell, I'm letting you know I take you too. I take y'all too on my motherfucking jump. Because while you watching me, you learning something about your damn self. Okay? Ain't nobody hating on nobody. I just said, I brand your fucking monkey ass. I said I will brand your asses. I don't give a fuck what color you are, who you are. I don't care. Just come on. I don't care. White, black, Chinese, green, purple, yellow, whatever you want to be. Whatever you consider yourself. Whatever religion you are. Do you want to brand yourself? Come on with me. I'm ready to brand you. Do you understand? I'm ready to brand you. Get that monkey off your back. Get it off. Ain't nothing but the devil. All right? You follow you follow me, you follow the right road, damn it. Because I ain't going to steer you wrong. All right? I'm not going to do that. Okay? And one thing about me, I don't have to cut my prices on shit. Because if you look at me, and you look at my prices, go somewhere else, and you be in state of shock. What they charge you for reasons. Or for anything else. They sell. They have. The world is about finance. They tell you what they want you to know. I heard a YouTube reader that says, I speak the truth. You're damn right you speak the truth because all you guys are a bunch of books in front of you and you ain't speaking the truth, you reading the truth. All right? Speaking the truth when you can do shit free, stop. That's when you speak the truth because then you don't have nothing in front of you. But you, and I will take any YouTube, any YouTube, and freestyle with your ass. And you'll speak the truth then. Because we won't have nothing in front of us but two cameras. All right? That's when you speak the truth. You don't speak the truth when you got all these books in front of you. That you read it out of a book. Out of all the books. That ain't the truth. That's reading tarot's. Okay? That's reading tarot. Anybody can study tarot. Alright? But when you are a spiritual reader, you don't need it. You speak to the person direct. And you let them know what's going on. That's a real spiritual reader. A tarot card reader reads the books. Okay? They read the book. Every reading they do is a book in front of them. You speak the truth? No, baby. You don't speak the truth. You read the truth. All right? That's what you do. Let's get this shit straight. Huh? You gonna tell them the truth? You're damn right because you reading the truth. That's why you're telling them the truth. But I'll take any one of y'all 
any one of y'all, the best of the best, to do a tarot card, and let's let's cut the cards off to do a reading without tarot. To read a person without tarot, then impress me, impress me, cause I'm impress you. All right, let's get the shit right. All right. One thing about me, I don't play. What I say is what it is. I said I do a spiritual reading before I read your cards. And anybody that ever had a reading for me, no, that's just how I do it. All right? That's me. That's who I am. And that's what people would know me for. I would stand on a stage and won't have no reading. No cards in front of me. And will read the crowd. We'll read the crowd. All right? Sometimes I get on the phone. Y'all call me up and I'm reading y'all. Y'all cry, y'all laugh, y'all do everything. Because y'all know it's the truth. All right? Come on. Come on to my studio live. All right? Come on. And do be your best at what you can be. Because I don't hate on nobody. But be true to yourself and to who you are. All right? And know one thing, baby. Know who you are. And the word love yourself is a deep word. All right? It's a real deep word. And when you know to love yourself and know the word, what it means to be deep in love with yourself, Ain't no stopping you. Ain't no stopping you. Do you understand? That's how real it is. Because when you don't love yourself, you always got a monkey on your back. And you know what that means? It's the devil. All right? It's that devil you can't get off of you. You know, a lot of people say, people that are out there getting high, they got a monkey on their back. Because they, they keep searching for that high. And they get higher and higher. Some people smoke damn weed till they can't smoke no damn more. Because they think that that weed, you can get high. Damn it, you already high. How much high you gonna get? They wanna drink till they fucking pass the fuck out. When do you know you drunk? Did you still gotta drink and drink till you pass out? That's fucking ridiculous. Take the monkey off your back. You know what that mean? Get the motherfucker that's riding you. That's got you stuck in yourself. Get that bitch off of you. Sucking your blood and your energy. The beast. God don't suck your blood. That's why you said in the blood of Jesus. He don't suck your blood. He gave up his blood for you. Do you understand? Get the monkey off your back. Know what love really is. Don't just say you in love with yourself. Are you? Are you? Do you know what it is to be loved? And I don't mean by someone else, but for yourself. You know how to give it. Oh, you give it for free. For free. That's just why they dog your ass. They use you, abuse you. Because you got a monkey on your back. They're sucking the fucking blood out of you. All right? They got wings like the fucking devil. And you ain't scared of that shit. But you scared to follow and fall in love with you. That's crazy. That's insane. Wake the fuck up. Why would you want to go back? Why do you go back or want to go back to going back to someone that you really Gonna lay there and look at them and say, damn, I know I went through this, that, 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 and that with that man or that woman. But you want to get back with someone that's giving you history of what you went through. Insecureness, not being in your space. Even in the streets, anywhere you go, you already know how that person is. No, no. I'm going to put that beast and I'm going to cut that beast up. I'm not even going to cage it. I'm going to demolish it. 
so I know it will never be back with me. Do you understand? <clears throat> y'all need to know who y'all are and know the word love. And if you are in a predicament that you are still seeking someone and you don't know why you still seeking them. You don't love yourself enough to let go. You are afraid of yourself, but you're not afraid to be with the devil, with the people that do voodoo on your ass. I don't know. Or the person they with. I don't know. Because these people dip in every damn thing. And every time they dip in things, they bring it to you. And because you can't get out of your head, they got you stuck like the devil, like that monkey is always on you. You can't even stop thinking every day you think. You don't go to bed with a pizza mind. Okay? Stop chasing that high. Stop being a fiend to this person. Stop being addicted to the devil. Because that's what you're doing to yourself. Okay? You're so fast and one thing so fast because you're tired of waiting. I wait on God any day. What? I will wait on God any day, all day, for the rest of my life. And if he never gives me that king, I know I got the king. You know why? Because I got him. He said with a plus, he said, if I believe, I will never go without. That's what he said. Do you understand? You got to believe. You got to know what the word love means. People use and abuse the word love. And they use and abuse it with you. Because you believe and you think they love you. And it's so good at the beginning. Why? Because you are trying to fix it when it's always been broken. All right? You're trying to fix it when it can't fit. All right? That's why you're the way you are. You can't fix nobody but yourself. You can't allow no one that don't want to love you to love you. You will train yourself. And they will always know they can come in and out of your life and tell you you done seen all the shit, but you still allowing it. Do you understand? Come on, Pisces, y'all better than that. The word is love. They find the meaning to love in your life. And if you are in anything I told you, what I said, and it fits you, you don't know what love is. That's not love. Okay? Love is being used and abused in the worst ways. People use the word love like they use soulmates and twin flames. They use and abuse it. All right? Because they want to follow the world and the devil and study following the light that lives in them. You keep running. Go ahead and keep running and chasing it. You will run for the rest of your life. And I mean run. Because everyone you will meet will be the same person you left. Why? Because you don't know what it is to love. I said I've never, 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 never felt like I was loved by anyone. Not even by myself, for myself, into I, into I. Listen to you, to you, into I started reading tarot cards. Reading you, just like I am now, no tarot cards, right? Reading you. Reading your story. 
Do you understand? I said I'll freestyle with your ass, did I? And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm freestyling with you. I'm looking at you. What's wrong with you? When I found love, I found me. And when I found me, I found God. I knew. I know. I know what it is to love in me. Because can't no one love me like I love me. And can't no one treat me like I would treat me. You think about it. Look at what you give someone else. You can give it to yourself, but you'd rather give it to them. You get so caught up, so caught up in everything that that person got, being with other people, okay? Sneakiness, conniving, deceit, cheaters. Then when they, when they all of this, then you got people that they're with calling you, fucking stalking you, don't know shit about you. And the only reason they know about you is because of these motherfuckers out here. Because they look on their phone, then they see your number. Then they ready to stalk your ass. Google your ass up, get your address, get it off. Come stalk us. Then you wonder why you feel crazy. Because now they doing that voodoo shit. Right? Yes. This is what people bring to you. Viciousness. All right? When you fucking with the wrong motherfucker and you can't get that motherfucker out of your head and that motherfucker ain't never seen you again. Y'all ain't seen each other in a minute. In over a year. Some of y'all just going through this shit now. But for sure, it's been a mile. It's been some miles you ain't seen. It. It's been some months and days, honey. And some of y'all so damn crazy. Oh, I just want to have closure. I want to close this. And guess what? You damn sure are getting closer to that motherfucker's not even looking at you again. Ghosting you again. But was happy as hell to hear your voice. And ain't got shit to say to you. You still waiting on a fucking explanation. They ain't explaining shit. They going with the period. Point blank period on your ass. But you still need closure. Does that make any sense? Does it make any sense? It don't. These people are out here seeing your so-called friends. Your fucking, some of them see your family. These motherfuckers ain't got no respect for nobody. Because you know what? They dicks got everybody's name on it. And pussies too. Whether you're female or man Pisces. You better know. Whoever and whatever you want to get with. They coming back funky as shit. Done slept. Done. Honey. Been around the world. And I. Yeah. 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 That's what you want. Huh? Because that's what you want to get. All those spirits and all that shit that they've been with is coming to you. All right? And I'm going to say it again. You play fool for these people. And you're going to be Bobo the Clown again. They plan your ass out. You already know what they're about. Go ahead and set your ass up again. Because you're going to get set up again. All right? Do you understand? Why can't you love? And I'm going to say it again. Please, 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 I beg you. Do not tell me. Do not tell me. You are in love with yourself. If you're not. 
you be sure of yourself. And that means you float. You are in the flow. In the flow. You're not sitting there looking at it and saying, I don't know who's going to hit me first because I'm not going to hit him. No, that ain't how we do that. That ain't how we do that. Because you let it be. I had someone in my studio that says, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. Because so, so did this. You take it out on me. Bitch, fuck out of here with that dumb shit. Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who you think you're talking to? Really? When did you know me that well that you could talk to me like that? When? Who? Where? Don't get comfortable, bitch. Because you got cut. You know why? Because you don't know me like that. All right? See how quick I did that shit? Because you thought you was getting comfortable. And I'm not going to allow no one to get that comfortable with me. Because if she did it the first time, the second time is definitely coming around. I don't give a fuck if you on your period. I don't give a fuck. What you want? You go play that shit with your fucking sorry ass niggas. You don't play that shit with me. And you got a pussy like me? Girl, I'll demolish your ass. Spit your fucking ass out right in the trash. Yeah, you thought you knew me. As sweet as I get, as sour as I get. I am not the one. You want to play? Go play and follow your ass to that nigga that you keep chasing. Because I ain't there. And stop telling me that you're in love with yourself. You couldn't have been in love with yourself. Not playing with me. Not playing with me. Ain't no way now you won't come on my shit and act like you running my show. I should have fucking deleted your ass while you was talking. I gave you that much space to finish your shit on my show. And I fucking tell you again, I should have deleted your motherfucking ass. Just... And I'm, how about this? I'm going to be bold with your ass. Remember that day you told me that that guy came on your show and took over your show and was branding all his shit on your show and was making money? Remember that? That's what I should have did to your ass. Deleted you for being disrespectful. And then got the nerves to text me telling me, am I okay? Am I okay? You're damn fucking right I am. I got the problem. Right, I had the problem. And I deleted the problem. You. Don't play with me. Ever play with me. And I won't have a problem. Alright? You come to my show. And you act crazy. I'ma get security to escort your ass out. Immediately. And everybody. The damn TV is going to show you. Escorting out. Do you understand? Don't play with me. And I won't have time to delete your ass or escort you out the door. Out the building. All right? Out. Because I will never stand for somebody coming, running my show. Ain't no way. And I don't want to come to none of y'all and run y'all show. Because I'm going to know how to fucking act. I don't play that shit. And I'm reading you today. That's what I do. All right? So for whoever it is that don't know why they are stuck in their thoughts and they ain't been with somebody, you know why? Because you need to know who you are. And how amazing you are. And how powerful you are. Okay? And how beautiful you are. You say your war stories. Tell yourself your war stories. Take them salt baths. Light the candles. Some of y'all don't even know what to do with yourself. But you watch me. Save yourself. Don't walk around the house just, no, you need to do this to yourself. 
Okay? Burn the incense. Get that shit out of you. Away from you. All right? It's important that before you go to bed, you listen to Art Michael's prayer and wake up to it. And thank God that you are awake. You ask these archangels. That's why I say you need to know your seven chakras so you can use the one to do whatever you want in you. You need to go spirit, honey. When you go spirit in yourself, you get these spirits around you. You get the spirits that can cut these spirits and these energies that are coming for you. Do you understand how serious this can be? You tell me. I think they doing voodoo on me. Why? Because you're not, you're not geared. You're not geared. You understand? If you watch my video on Sunday, I said, damn it, I took that sore out. I said, look now, you cut. You know why? Because I'm geared and you can't get to me. Do you understand what I said? You need to really, really get into yourself and into your spirit. If you can get into your spirit as much as you allow these people, and, and I'm going to say the X, because X is a door to X out. I'm going to use the word X. If you knew what it is to X, and I mean X that shit. You know they say you can X that shit and get a straight A? X that shit. And you know what that means? That means when you so in control of yourself. When you do everything spiritually the way you do the real world, can't nobody fuck with you. I'm going to say something to you right here. Check this out. You see this? It's a pen of a sword. And you know where I got it? Right here. Right here on my computer. You damn right I do because I got to make sure I do. You know why? Because I don't know. I don't know how they watch it. I don't know what kind of shit they got for me. But I'm, honey, my computer, I got that bitch. Him. Just for people that want to act crazy. I cut their ass off of my sore. Honey, this is a pen. Uh, you, you understand? Right here on my computer. It sits there all the time. I'm geared. Okay? I'm geared up. Do you understand? I'm geared. Right here. Where at? Where I do. Where I am. Video. Yeah. You know why? Because that's where you watching me. You watching me. It's so many people. Damn near 9,000 people. Watching me. I need to be geared. I don't know which way it's coming. But I know one thing. I'm geared to fuck up. Geared up. And the one thing I'm geared up, I got this right here. And I'm going to, guess what? God's going to knock your ass out. Right out. Come for me. Because he's going to knock your ass right the fuck out. He said, come for her. I got you. You know why? She's one of mine. She believes in me. She knows that she's in love with herself. Why? Because she's in love with me. Do you understand? I am protected, and I'm literally protected by the blood of Jesus. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what he went through for me. Do you know why? Because I went through all that shit for everybody else that were ex. Everybody. When I mean everybody, everybody. Everyone that treated me like shit. Everyone that I ever was with. Everyone that's been related to me. Every job I had that wasn't right. Okay? All the jealousy and the envy. 
all of that came with what? The devil. And I refuse to have that monkey on my back. You're not going to break my back or weigh me down. Do you understand? Because I know your game. I know what you're about. I know that you don't want the best for me. I know that. And that is why God is doing what he do for me. Keeping your ass away. Keeping all that shit away. All that shit away. I told my son, you're coming to see me? You're going to come to my grand opening? And he says to me, well, mom, you know I work. Really? You work. You know I be across, you know, country. I don't give a fuck what you do. If you can fucking make your trips for everybody in your family and all the activities they got, you make your business to come to that shit. You better fucking make your business to come to me. And I mean that shit. Because if you don't do that, best to believe, I will never, ever, ever tell him anything else about me and what I'm doing. And I will X his ass out. And I mean that shit. And I know his family watching me. I will X his ass out. And I'm not fucking playing. You can have him watch this video. I already told him I will X your ass out. If you can go and see your own family for every fucking thing they got. If they shit and you go see them. Whatever the fuck they got. And they tell you to be there, you're going to come. I'm only telling you, you don't show up at my event. It's going to be a major problem. And you can think I'm playing with you. I'm not playing with you. You already fucking know. All right? You can sit there and not give a fuck. And I'm going to sit there and not give a fuck about you. And we're going to be just like this. And guess what that means? You think you don't come see me now? And you go see everybody else in your family? You praise them? Fuck with me. And I don't care if you my son. And I'm not playing. I'm not sugarcoating shit. I don't have to. And I don't care who's watching it. Go tell them. You can send them this motherfucking video. Because ain't shit I'm going to change about me. Nothing that I say will be changed. Do you understand? And now I'm telling you I'm talking about my own son. So you already know, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. All right? If it ain't right for me, I ask your ass out. And I don't care who you are. I just said I would do it to my son. And anybody that knows him can send him the damn video. I don't give a fuck. You don't support me, I'm your mother. You can support people that are related to you, I'm your fucking mother. And I'm going to always be your mother. And can't nobody take that from me. I'm on your birth certificate. Okay? You can treat me any kind of way you want. And you're going to battle your worst nightmare, Jerome. You know what? Because I ain't the one. All right? And see, you're not in touch like me. You don't do what I do. As cute as you are, you're not as powerful as I am. Don't play with me. Or oh, I swear to God, when I die, I will make sure you're going to remember me. All right? If you didn't do me right while I was alive, you're going to do me right when I'm dead. Because I'm going to make sure that shit. You understand? I'm not playing with you. Let you not be there. It's going to be a problem. A big problem. All right? If I say that to my son, I'm telling y'all, I'm not playing. All right? That's how I feel. If you got anyone, anyone, and you come up to loving yourself and knowing how worthy you are of yourself, you're going to have this attitude right here. Right? People say, Damn, girl. Damn, she raw as fuck. She don't give a fuck. She's cold as ice. She's vicious.
she got a nasty attitude. I don't give a damn what you think about me. There's the door that says X. Out. I'm not here to impress you. I'm here to show you what you can be and who you can be. By the time I get done with you, Pisces, you will be a captain of your ship. That means you will be so high upon yourself that this is your world that used to be right here. And you can't even see it because you will become a giraffe. And everything will be so small that you can't even look down. You will be on that plane that when you get on that plane and it takes off, wherever you was at, it don't even show on the map. You got that? That's who I am. You didn't come on this YouTube for no reason. You came here because you need to know what it is to be in love with yourself. Not to allow someone to put you in three-way parties and tell you and you find out and now you're chasing them because you're feeling some type of way because they are in where they at and they ain't coming to you. They might come to take a shit in the shower and get clothes, but that's all they're doing. Some of y'all got kids from these motherfuckers. They don't even give a fuck. How do they do that? And you got kids, and the kids are watching this shit. You got to work two jobs to maintain what you got. Some of y'all are getting evicted from your shit. And these motherfuckers are running around with other people. It, that's what you want? That's what you want. That's crazy. You live in this life and all they do is coming in laying their ass down. Left you for someone they was with. Told that person they leaving, leaving them for you. Came to you. Go show ass and went back to that person. And guess what? You would take them back. Is that crazy? So they can go flip flop, flip flop between you and them. That's what they do. Y'all know about each other. Oh, well now we now I know he's seeing somebody. And now um, yeah, she told me this. And you waiting for this person to come back. And what and have closure. Is that fucking ridiculous or what? How much more you need? You mad because the girl is talking about you. <coughs> you mad. Because who he was with before you and he went back to is talking about you. Putting shit on Facebook and they're talking about that relationship and all this shit. And you get mad. Ain't that crazy? You get mad at them. Why don't you get mad at this motherfucker? Why don't you cut that shit with him? But you mad at her. Is that crazy? Why don't you be like Miss Lisa? Walk into the party. Take over the party. And watch the bitches look at her. This fucking him. And don't say shit but look beautiful. And walk out the party. Because guess what? They are on the phone saying, I seen Lisa. I seen her, or I seen that bitch, because they probably don't even say Lisa. They probably say bitch or whatever. I don't know. She think, oh, you should see the way. No, bitch, you already know how I get down. Shit, you could stand next to me and take a picture, because they'd be like, then you could tell a nigga what I thought I was, because you could never be me, ever. I cannot be duplicated, and I'm not sitting myself high. I am high. I'm not telling you who I am. I am who I am. I just say I'm sure of my damn self. Look at me. I'm sure of myself. You got that? I said everything. You'll see me walk through it. I said I do and I do. Right? That's what I'm saying. So you are talking back and forth, back and forth. Who you need to get with is he. And who you need to cut off is he. 
you with somebody that want to always make you feel stupid and always want to battle you over what they give you and all this shit? You want to be with that? You want to be with somebody like that? You want to be with somebody that's always going to battle you on a conversation and y'all can't have a decent conversation because they want to be better than you or make you feel stupid. Is that what you want? Pisces, I'm reading y'all without a car. Is that what you want? And then you make excuses for these damn fucking people. You're making excuses. You come to me for a reading, but then you want to tell me your excuses about this person. So why are you getting a reading? Why you want to read it? If you want to tell me making excuses for why the person is the way they are. And the best part is for the Pisces who see people that are not even from this fucking country. That's some crazy shit there. They done got everything they wanted from you. And they seeing someone else. So they free will to do what they want to do. Ain't that some shit? You gave them the right to live here. They ghost your ass. And they took everything from you. You didn't took shit from them. They took from you. All right? That's some crazy shit there. You built them up. You built these fucking people up. To get left back. Come on, Pisces. What level you on? Because I'm telling you in every level. What level you on? Y'all think they doing voodoo. You think they doing something to you. You know who's doing it all to you? You. You. Oh, they working voodoo and it's this person because they keeping them away from me. Really? So you want somebody that did all this to you. And this person you think is keeping them away because they doing voodoo. But you want that person back in your life? Oh, Lord Jesus, you are crazier than you want to be. So, honey, if they doing voodoo to keep y'all apart, then that's what they need to do. And you need to say thank you for doing it. Because when they get back with you, you coming into all that trash. Nothing but trash. Chaos. Confusion. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You don't know why you can't take them out of your head? Some of y'all get on website to meet people, to meet people, and they become fucking cuckoo birds. Somebody in a whole nother, a whole nother side of the world, the UK, Paris, France, whatever they from. Germany, India, Pakistan, y'all get crazy motherfuckers, especially a lot of y'all meet people from Africa on these webs, looking for what? For that free buy, and what y'all do, y'all give it to them, and get stuck with that shit, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Y'all talking about voodoo? Go ahead and try that shit. Go ahead and try that shit. And y'all gonna get some voodoo. Because some people truly believe in that. Alright? Or y'all gonna be on some real shit. And it ain't gonna be their girl doing it to y'all. It's gonna be them doing that shit to y'all. Because they already got you like that. They got you to marry them. Put shit under their name. Built them up. Crazy shit. It's craziness. Don't y'all know who y'all are? Don't y'all want to know who these people are? Why they are on these dating games? If you on these dating games, you that beat? You that fucking beat? You gonna meet some real people and they got some real cases. Alright? Go ahead.
And if you get on that dating site, you meet the people right from here. Oh, they got some serious problems. And you're going to get that serious problem at the end of your rainbow. For Pisces. That. That. I'm going to say for Pisces. That never, ever been in. Never slept with a person. Only nothing ever kissed a person. And you are in your head over a person that you are in your head fucking creating this dream because you're watching YouTube and they say, this person's coming to you. They're trying to leave a situation to come to you. Go ahead and be stupid because that's what you in, stupid. All right? You in the same damn room, the person, and they don't even look at you. But you sitting there looking at them. Waiting for them to come to you. Go on and wait. You're going to wait for a long time. Do you understand? I'm telling y'all, Pisces, wake up. Wake up. What are you waiting on? It's not time for you to see him play and wait on. And wait on people. That's coming back. Because they're going to come back. And guess what? They're going to get comfortable and ain't nothing about you that's going to change with them. Nothing. It'll be good for the first couple of days and back they go to themselves. Pisces, sometimes you have people in your life that are really good to you. <clears throat> and you get into wanting to see a person you was with. The person that you've been with, being with, you put them in a third party because now you want to be with them and be with this trash you was with, right? And now, <clears throat> you playing this little square game, right? And you don't like this person because he's too good for you. But you want this person, but you got both of them. And you're trying to balance these motherfuckers. But then... By the time that the person you went back to that was shit to you, the person that was good to you, you done turned them motherfuckers into the person that you just got trashed by. Because these people probably already got another relationship that you don't know because they got tired of waiting for you. Had babies on you. And yet that's what you made them do. Got a whole nother situation going on. Now you looking at that person and you mad because you found out they had a baby on you with someone else. You mad? You mad? Isn't that what you wanted? You want to play that three-way circle? You want to have them? And you want to go back to this? And you got the raw end of the stick on both sides. And if you got one of them good men, they really love you, but fucked up because you made them fuck up because you were too busy trying to play with somebody else. You, you got to get over this shit. You got to you gotta fucking wear it. Because that's called wearing what you fucking created. You created that triangle. You wanted your cake and needed too. And that's a perfect example of what people in the past do to you. The same shit. You want to play with two people. You want to balance two people. You want to get some real shit. Right? You are what you create. You are everything you can create. And I done read you in many different levels. I don't know where you at. And some of y'all Pisces said, man, fuck that. I ain't seen nobody in years. And I'm saving all of me for that man. All of you. For that man. I hope that when that man come, you are so in love with yourself that you save yourself for that man. Because, you know, that's what I want to do. I said, God said he would hand me over with a plus. And you know what? Whoever I will get married to, this right here, it's my wedding ring. Right here. The day I die, cremate me. Go.
I'm sorry, Pisces. I'm sorry, the video just cut. When I pass, cremate me and throw the ring with my ashes in the ocean. All right? The ring must go with me. All right? Because you cannot duplicate me. And I go with my ring. That's right. I'm married to God. And I know that he wants the best for me. And no matter what I go through, I will always believe in him. No matter what. No matter if I only got one slice of bread. I will believe with that bread will come many more. Whatever it is that I go through, I know that he will get me out. He knows when I'm tired. He knows what's best for me. You can run yourself to the hole, searching and searching and searching, but if you don't love and believe in yourself, you will never find love or happiness. You will always chase it. What level are you on, Pisces? Who you with? Are you with yourself and God? Are you with the spirit in yourself? Or are you with that monkey on your back, which is the devil, okay? They're sucking the blood and your energy out of you. Who you with? And I'm going to say it again. Who are you with? What level are you on? What level? Are you allowing people? To destroy you? Are you allowing people to take over you? Where are you in your life? Are you the captain? Are you the boss? Are you the CEO? Where you at? Are you waiting for an apology? Are you waiting for closure? Really? Where are you? Does it mean that much to you? Does it mean more to you to love yourself that you need closure and apology? Do you? Since this person means that much to you that they left you for someone else and you know about it, or their wives or girlfriend, whoever they with, call you. Is that what you want? Do you believe that someone is working voodoo on this person to keep you apart? But you know what you went through because if whether or not they're working voodoo, are they with you? And if they're not, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth you being with that person? In everything you went through with them. To be back in your life. And look at them and be reminded. Of what it was. That's crazy. Is it worth having someone. That belittles you. And you never write in their eyes. Never. You give it all. But you never will be right. Do they match you? Do Are they <clears throat> who you are? Do they match your standards? Or are you right here? And they, they right here on you. But you doing everything for them. And they not doing nothing for you. Nothing. Is that your worth? Is it? Because you got to know what love is. And when you learn what love is, then everything will make sense to you. Your goals are not being stopped because you are the only one that's stopping you. What level are you on? I'm speaking to you on every level. And I freestyle with you today. What's better than that? Because the spirit is telling me to speak. How I see you.
For many of y'all, for many of y'all, y'all got beautiful things coming to you because you know what love is. For many of you, you got marriage. You got people that's coming into your life that want to marry you. And I'm telling you, marry you. I'm not talking about you waiting years. I'm talking about literally you're going to know that this person is meant for you. Because they matching you. You're not fighting. It's not working hard. Everything is coming to you smooth. Why? Because they got the same thing you got. The same ideas, the same plans. They're doing the same thing you're doing. All right? It's important that you know this. Where are you? A lot of y'all. A lot of y'all. And I'm saying a lot of y'all. Will be married. And I'm talking about. This month and next month. Y'all going to be married to people. Because this person really knows what they want. And they want you. That's what's so amazing. When someone can say, I want to marry you. And someone can come and put it on the line. Everything on the line. Because I'm going to tell you something. People can change. If someone really wants to change, they can change. It's like this. You may meet someone that people say they were players and they know how to tear people's heart up. But they meet you and you are the one. You the one that fits them perfectly. You the one. But in everybody's eyes, no. She can't be with that motherfucker. He's a player. He ain't shit. But for you, he's coming to you putting that ring on your finger. That he ain't never did with nobody else. And guess what? He's giving you what everyone else wanted in him. He's giving you all of him. Do you understand? And I believe this, baby. I'm going to tell you something right now. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. That the man that I'm going to marry. He's a lieutenant. That means he's a captain. People look at him, respect him. He could have been a player. He could have been breaking hearts. Left and right. Yes. He damn sure could have. And I'm sure he had. But I know that he's about his shit. He's a captain. And that's why a lot of people used to look at him. A lot of women wanted him. You know why? Because he was a leader. And because he had it all. And sometimes women, they chase what they want. You know what that is? That is the pot of gold. Right? And see, I always gave my pot of gold. And even the best men I had, they had it all, still didn't give me the pot of gold. But this man, a captain, a captain. See, check this out, Pisces. When I be in my studio and somebody want to pop off, this is what I'm going to say, baby, if I ever do this, and please come here and escort this motherfucker out, because that means I need help. And that's all I'm going to do. Look, waving my hand like Miss America. He gonna be like, let me go see what my baby want. I don't have to explore who he is. Because he's gonna be like that. It's about me. He's gonna know what I am. He gonna be just like me. Damn it, do you see this rock? If I was to take my ring and this guy and put his ring on, it would be just like this, all right? But I choose the Mac Daddy of all, and the Mac Daddy of all is God. Yes, 
Yes. How about what? How about he could put the ring that he was going to put here on here? Where it's going to hang off my ear. Yeah, damn it, what? Put it right there. Put that bitch right there. Or put it on my neck. But don't put it on this finger. Because that's God. And I don't replace God for nobody. I don't give a fuck who it is. But my man. He's going to be a short man. And when they see him. They're going to be like. Oh my God. I know she ain't with him. He ain't nothing but a player. He is a fucking hot mess. And guess what? <clears throat> He's mad at me. He got me. His trophy. You understand? He don't even understand. They don't even understand it. He don't even look their way. He's holding my bags. He's holding my chica. Chica is my Yorkie. He's walking my Jojo. Yeah, they looking at him carrying my kids. All right? He's making sure everything's okay with me. Yes. He's taking them flights with me. Because he a CEO himself. And he going to make sure everything is right. That everything is ran right. Because he got way more than I would ever have. Because I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to get me a CEO. Right? I'm not going to stand for just anybody. I don't want to know what you drive. I don't know want to know what you got on. I'm going to say just like this to him. Miss Lisa, would you like to come to my house? Yeah, I'm going to give you some time to clean all your shit before I get there. All your shit. And please don't ask me a lot about me. Tell me about you. You want to know about me? Watch my YouTubes. Then you're going to know me. But tell me about you. Because I'm going to read right through you. Because that's what I do. And he's going to know that's what I do for a living. Do you understand? This man has been waiting for me to walk up into the spotlights. Because he's already an entertainer. You're going to know him and the world is going to know him. Because he is going to be an entertainer. Somebody already with a big name. You got that? Yeah. Because I'm that new rookie in town. And guess what? I'm rocking with Black Ink. And you already know, Black Ink, they some raw ass motherfuckers. They talk just like me. They be ready to fucking bust you right in your head. You already know how to get down. And I'm going to be a part of that family. So guess what? I rock with them. And when you rock with shit, they looking at me like, whoa, look at her. But one thing I ain't, I'm a classy bitch. I ain't with none of that shit. One thing they gonna know about me, Black Ink. The only fire I got is in my studio. I don't wanna be around any of that. I'm into me. I would never change who I am. And we are so alike because we will cut your fucking ass. All right? And you know Caesar got a big heart because you seen him. You see how he fire people and he bring them back. He fired him and bring him back. He gives him so many chances. He has a heart of gold. And that's me. And by the time I get done with Caesar, he going to know he's going to be untouchable because I'm going to let him know and I'm going to read him. And I won't be surprised if he's a Pisces or a water sign because he has a heart of gold. All right? And he has opened up many tattoo shops. Shops and names. Okay? Him and Ryan are friends. Open up many doors for people. And many of those people done stabbed him in their back. Right on his back. But look at him. He still rides. And I wonder where they at. Because Caesar's rising. Every time he turns around, he's opening something. But where the people 
They stabbed him. Where they at? Do you hear from them? Do you know where they at? I understand, Cesar. That's what they did to me. But I'm rising. Fuck it. We are a family. And trust me, <clears throat> you said you opened up the door for me. And I promise you, you ain't see shit. You ain't see nothing when you come to me. You open up the door so I can sit on stage and be seen around the world. But what I got to offer the world, Caesar, you will always be a part of what I'm going to do. Because I will never forget what you did for me and Mercedes. We rock together, me and her. All right? We rock together. Me and Mercedes rock together. Tyler Perry, come on, baby, because now you know. Caesar, you want to meet Tyler Perry? You going to meet him. But you better remember, Tyler Perry is smooth. He ain't going for anything. All right? So you might have to meet Tyler Perry by yourself. Because he ain't going in there acting all the all chaos and people acting crazy. But guess what? But Sadie, you're going to meet Tyler Perry with Mercedes season. And so am I. And what's better than to meet my idol? You know who's my idol? Oprah. She's my idol. It's kind of crazy how I pick up my name to be Pisces Studio. Is that crazy? And Oprah is my idol. Just like Luther Vandal. Oprah is my idol. And I don't switch with artists. And I don't switch with who's my idol. Luther is not here. But Oprah Winfrey is my idol when it comes to what I do. And always been as far as I can remember. Because her story fits ours. She went through everything we went through. And she has helped and opened up many doors for people. Rachel, Dr. Phil, many more. That's what I want to do for y'all. And if I never meet, I have God. And I thank God for teaching me to love myself and never ever turning his back on me because I turned my back on him many times when I was on my knees praying him to get me out of these situations he kept getting me out and I kept following the same footsteps but I know now how sweet it is how sweet it really is when you know and I don't know who I was talking to today but my reading, right here. Whoever I was talking to and I freestyle, baby, this is me, this is what I do. I want to get you out of where you at. I want you to know what love is and what it means. And if it's everything I told you, that you love it. Everything. And it's not you, and it's what you chasing, then you're not in love with you. Okay? Search for yourself. Love is love. And love is not hard. Love is beautiful. We have to demolish the word love. We are destroying that red heart. We don't know how to love. We are constantly in war. If we're not in war with ourselves, we are in war with everything around us. I want you to know one thing, honey. Treat you and treat the earth, the world, the way you want to treat yourself. Respect the universe. Respect nature. Because if you don't learn to respect none of it, we would all die. If we don't know how to respect this world we live in, we are destroying it 
in every form, the ocean, the air, we would not be able to live it. Do you understand? The climate is showing us now. You better respect everything about this world. You can't change it once it's there. Do you understand? That's life. You live in a round world. And this world was given to you. What are you going to do with your world? And you need to start by loving yourself. And changing the world. The way you use things. The way you look at the ocean. At the sun. At the air that you breathe. You got to change everything about you. Everything. Relationships. Your life. Nature. Believe me. Everything that's being made today. Everything that's being made today. The more. The more. The computer technologies become, the more we are destroying the world. Okay? The more we are destroying the planet. You got to understand, you must change everything about you. Study it all because we are damaging everything around us the way we look at things. The more they get richer on all of these equipment, equi everything, everything that they make it, they are destroying the world. Soon you'll be swallowing chips. You're going to become a computer. Yes, they will destroy you. You won't be able to go outside. It'll be too fucking hot. It won't be water because it'd be all honey. You see parts of the world, they can't drink their own water. We're going to wind up just like that. Polluting everything around us. You're fighting two wars. You're fighting the fucking world with the fucking people acting crazy. And you destroying your own climates. Everything. We're destroying it all. Whatever platform that God will give me, I will fight to change the way you are treating the climate. I will dedicate myself to it. I will dedicate myself to teach y'all to stop dumping shit in the fucking ocean. Destroying the whales and the fish. The turtles, our life there, we are fishes. We need to be there to live. I will dedicate myself to the kids. Did the unfortunate, did the giving away like trash, being used. I will dedicate myself to the world that people are afraid to look at that you are destroying. When you love yourself, you love everything about you. You can't keep destroying it all. We got to know where we at in this world. It's literally telling you, you are destroying everything around you. Don't just try to fix your life will fix everything around you, please. Give. Appreciate it. I done went and read your cards. And I ain't got no cards here. I read your spirits. And now I'm telling you that we are destroying the planet. We are destroying the air that we breathe, the water we drink. Yes, it's getting too hot. You're not going to be 
be able to go outside and breathe. You're not going to be able to drink clean water. We're destroying the planet. You need air. You need water to breathe. You need soil to grow. You need animals to live. If you destroy it all, we have nothing. You have to take accountable for what you do. Okay? The things you use and you buy. You got to change this world or we are destroying it. And if you're thinking about humans, baby, you need food to eat. The soil has to be right. We are adding all this crazy shit that y'all being happy about. Everything that's coming out, y'all want. I'm going to tell you what. The more they bring out in the world with chips, solo planets, all of this thing that got to be solo heated. Where the fuck you think it's being heated from? From the sun. Destroying us. This president, four years, didn't even look at that. He had like that didn't even exist. Didn't want to give the money for research. What he's doing is destroying us. Now we got to catch up to that. Okay? You got to make a difference in this world. We got to make this whole world right. Tear car readers, why don't y'all speak about the planet? And your readers were reading and telling them about what they need to change. It's not just about tarot card reading. We need to teach and educate people about how crazy it's getting here. You see fires, you see water. Just... Do you understand? We got to fix the problem. It starts with you. I done gave you spiritual reading with no cards and I'm telling you please help me I beg you help me to change this planet do your part I beg you please do your part please Please, do your part. Um, Pisces. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I just want y'all to help me. Change the world. I can help you in your journey. But can you help me in my Change the world, please. I want you to help me. Change the world. I can't do it alone. I know I will have doors to open up where I can literally speak on this. But I need you right now to help me. Please. Change the world. It's not about all the gimmicks they have for you. All the gimmicks that they come with are destroying our planet. Okay? You cannot grow. You cannot grow grass to feed the animals to give us what we want to eat if we are destroying the planet. Okay? The fires are destroying everything. The water, because we are destroying our planet. It's just not just about me. It's about all of us. All right? Thank you. And I hope that the reading I've done 
freestyle no cards. Has helped you. See you for your work and for who you are. In the ending of this, you do today. It's about you helping me. Please help me change the world. And I thank each and every one of y'all for helping me and being in my journey and allowing me to be in yours because I read each and every comment. Thank you again. Please, we must change this world. Okay? I love you so much. Please, love yourself. I gave you a reading on everything it is that you need to start looking at to know where you are at. Right? Because everything you've been through is a lesson, is a book that you can look at every person that ever been in your life. You can tell the story about what would happen that time and who and when and why and when. And are you repeating the same cycles? Because if you are, that reading I did right now today is you taking inventory on your life and your whole book of your passes that has teaching you lessons that you still, for some reason, you're not getting it, but you need to get it. And for many of y'all, wedding bells are here. Your match has arrived. But I'll tell you what, I've always, I'm always learning about who, about me. I learn it each and every day. I learn something new. And I will always, I'm never going to stop learning. But I want you to be in a better place in your life. And wherever you starting off, I want to be a part of your journey. By the time I get done with you, you will be the captain, the CEO. They can't fuck with you. You understand? I love you. May you all be blessed today. I love you to pieces. I talk to you tomorrow morning. Be blessed. Be safe. Okay? Know that you got choices. And the choices you make is the life you live. Right? Peace, love, and happiness. And the word is love. Do you know what love is? Do you really know what love is? Are you worthy? Are you worthy? All right? I see you. Bye. I love you.